if you looked at a movie of neural activity with neurons spiking here and here and here and here, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to detect any pattern in the firing. But when you look at this pattern of firing through the filter of algebraic topology, different structures emerge in terms of which families of neurons are firing in which order, and then more complex structures when you look at how these different families are related to each other. When one looks at the evolution of such a pattern through time, it gives us a mathematical signature that describes this pattern that was hidden in the seemingly chaotic firing of the network. The big question is, you know, you're looking at the brain after a stimulus, and it has this activity pattern, and somehow it should be encoding information about what came in, and then coming to some sort of decision about what to do next. What I think that we're seeing here is a way of interpreting or visualizing the brain's own code for what it's doing. It's, it processes the information, it's encoding the input signal, and then it's coming to some sort of decision. And what algebraic topology enables us to do is to describe that encoding process and perhaps even to visualize the moment at which the brain is making a decision. So there's, there are more and more intricate structures among these neurons that are building up as it's, it's, it's thinking about, it's processing the information, and then boom, we come to a decision. Whoop! And that's... That's what we're detecting. We're detecting the information processing and decision-making processing of the brain. Thank <laughs> you.